Hi there. My name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, and I'm recording this in the summer 2022 semester. In this year's offering of GPU programming for video games, I've stuck with Unity's built-in pipeline, even though Unity really wants everyone to switch over to these newfangled scriptable render pipelines, namely the universal render pipeline or the high-definition render pipeline. And for several years now, I've been telling my students things like, oh, this year we'll stick with the built-in pipeline, but next year I'll probably switch to the scriptable render pipeline. But those statements have always been predicated on the assumption that Unity would actually get around to providing some decent documentation for the scriptable render pipeline architecture, and that they would eventually provide some sort of equivalent for their surface shader technology, which was a very useful aspect of the built-in pipeline that's not present in any of the scriptable render pipelines. And the assumption that they would bring back custom post-processing effects for the universal render pipeline. These used to work in the URP, but at some point along the line, Unity broke this and for several years now has not got around to fixing it. Anyway, so although Unity bungled the transition to the scriptable render pipeline, I think that the SRP looks pretty cool on paper, and I do hold out hope that it will be worth switching the class over to the SRP eventually, so I did want to start digging into SRP code. If you start a blank URP project, you can go to the packages and search for the lit shader. Let's scroll down, 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 down. Here we go. So you can double click on this and get the lit shader code. And you can do the same thing for an HDR project to get the HDRP lit shader code. So on the left, I have the lit shader code for the universal render pipeline, the URP. And on the right, I have the lit shader code for the HDRP, the high definition render pipeline. And the lit shaders are meant to be equivalent to the standard shader in the original built-in pipeline. So taking a look at the code here, I do expect to have some differences. The HDRP is supposed to have a whole bunch of features that the URP doesn't have, and that's fine. It's targeting higher-end hardware. But in the places where there is common behavior, you would expect there to be some common conventions, like we have something called a base color, and here we have something called a base color. Now here we have a texture called a base map. But over here in the HDRP, it's called the base color map. Why are these named different things? They serve the same basic function. Now, I can imagine why they might want to use the term base map here, because if I recall correctly, this was the terminology used in the original built-in pipeline with the standard shader. But they've already declared that these new scriptable render pipelines aren't going to be compatible with the original built-in pipeline anyway. So if you are taking this opportunity to make a fresh start, you should have your fresh start have common naming conventions. So why not call this base color map also in order to be consistent between the two? Okay, yes, really, you are not going to be able to take the same code and use it in both pipelines, but you might have snippets of code that you could share. Why not let us share those snippets by having a common naming convention? Let's scroll down a little bit. Oh, look at this. All right. So here we have bump map, which represents the normal map for the URP. But over here in the HDRP, normal maps are called underscore normal map. Again, why not use the same name? Why do we have different names? Let's see, scrolling down a little bit here, we have height maps. Same thing. Over here on the left, it's called parallax map. Over here on the right, it's called height map. Why would you call these different things? Okay, what about emissive textures? Oh, same thing. Here we have emission color, but on the right, we have emissive color. On the left with the URP, we have emission map. On the right, we have emissive color map. Why are we using two similar but slightly different words. It really feels like Unity created a URP team and they created an HDRP team. Well, actually, back in the day, URP was called LWRP, the Lightweight Render Pipeline. Anyway, it created two teams, 
to create these two different pipelines. And it looks like they didn't allow the teams to talk to each other. Somebody at Unity should have been fired for this. It's mind-blowing that this was mismanaged so badly.